Do you love to do something new every day? Or do you like your days to stay pretty much the same? Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. I'm not someone who likes a lot of change. I like to know what to expect, and I like having my routine. It's comfortable, and I feel more in control that way. But as you've probably heard the saying, the only constant in life is change. Today's Devo adds something else important to that, which we'll read about in An Unchanging God by Tanea Lewis. The world is constantly changing. There are always new technologies being developed and new ways of doing things. Each generation puts different emphases on different issues. It can be easy to feel like our parents and grandparents don't understand what we're facing today because certain things about life are just different. Yet, no matter which generation you're from, growing up is a process everyone has to go through, including Jesus. He knows what it's like to be a teenager in a changing world filled with lots of different opinions. And he knows what it's like to be misunderstood. Read about that in Luke 2 verses 41 through 52. Even though everything around us feels like it's changing faster than we can keep up with, one thing remains the same, God. Hebrews 13.8 says that Jesus is the same today, tomorrow, and forever. His love, his trustworthy character, and his commitment to rescuing his people and restoring his creation can never be shaken. Having Jesus be the constant in our lives helps us find our bearing. It helps us to know where to look when everything else is uncertain. We never have to worry about God changing and becoming something different. We don't have to worry that he's not going to understand us. We don't have to be afraid that he's going to want something different from us. We know he's going to be the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Let's dig into this devotion a little bit deeper. How do you tend to handle change? Are you someone who enjoys change or not so much? What is one thing you've seen change in the last five years, either in the world or in your own life? Do you think people view this change differently depending on which generation you're from? How might God be bringing good out of this change? To think about this more deeply, read Genesis 50 verse 20 and Romans 8, 28 and 29. How could knowing that God doesn't change and yet he perfectly understands everything going on in our world and in our lives bring us comfort through all the changes we experience? Consider taking some time to talk to God about the changes around you and about what you think and feel about them. Now, as you and I can read in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And dive into God's word for more in Exodus 34, verses 5 and 6, Malachi 3, verse 6, and Matthew 7, verses 24 through 29, to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource from Keys for Kids Ministries. And if you like today's story, how would you like to write for Unlocked? Connect God's story with any topic you see in this world. How does Jesus fit into what you're wondering about, writing about, or experiencing? If you're interested, check out our writer's guidelines at unlocked.org and tap right for us in the menu. And come back for tomorrow's devotion with me, how Jesus is with you even in the valley of the shadow of death. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life. <laughs>